welcome back to the shop or welcome to the shop uh, today we've got quite a few things on the agenda but we're just gonna stick to the easy ones. somebody tried to break into my truck last night so the uh, lock is wrecked I'll have to deal with that eventually but uh, on the note of upgrades got some uh, GoPro cameras and some fancy cases and these are gonna have to uh, have a slot that's not marked on this one um, but it's marked on this one I believe yeah so these are gonna have to have a, a mark you see that mark there gonna have to have a spot drilled out in them to be able to accommodate uh, the USB cables And uh, I've gotten myself a tripod, like an old old one left over. Uh, it's been my, my father's been here for who knows how long. Uh, made in Japan type deal. Um, and I took a second and put the GoPro adapter doohickey on top of it. So this will be fun to, to set up and use. But anyway... Uh, let, let me just show these off one more time before I forget because I will um, so um, this one was given to me by a friend uh, and it's way fancier than the GoPro I ended up getting so uh, there should be some interesting these also don't have like I can turn the sound off on these uh, which is another portion of curiosity to see uh, if I can get the the it's out of shot naturally right but if I can get the, the microphone working uh, in junction with these that don't have microphones, uh, that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a, a, an experiment in how do we cope with uh, and get the, this microphone like working the way it should. So I should actually hear. There, tap it a few times to see if that comes through in the audio. Because if it doesn't, then it's hooked up wrong and that's a uh, another set of adventures uh, in the meantime uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up in the mill and get on about milling this little bit of plastic out that I need to mill out so I'll see you there <clears throat> oh. it's not the best setup it's a little janky but it's better than nothing right now it's what I got going on Let's see if I can get this one clamped in there the way I had the last one clamped in there because that worked out really well there we go whoa as I almost fall over okay so
that's the end of the machining and then I'll just shoot like show a couple of shots of the couple of finished products they're two different cameras okay the rest of this video is probably just gonna be me mounting cameras not very exciting that and I probably won't include it all but there's a, a very long slot in this one and a shorter slot in this one because again they're two different cameras so not waterproof anymore but it'll keep the dust off of them in the shop uh, and if I don't include too much more in this video I'll see you next time uh, and if I do because I got a couple of boxes I want to put in uh, then uh, I'll probably have some kind of outro that says see you next time or something mundane like that so anyway a quick hard reset of the yellow camera uh, and our microphone's blinking not sure what that means we'll figure that out in a minute and I'm still struggling with trying to keep the video on these uh, cameras consistently so uh, we'll work that out in the future uh, in the meantime I'm gonna replay this video uh, and check the audio quality so thanks for sticking around uh, and here we go Well, I'm going to go ahead and say that the microphone seems to be picking up sound just fine. Um, and this will be interesting because this is one of the GoPro cameras. Um, <clears throat> and I bought this microphone quite some time ago in anticipation of purchasing the GoPros. Um, and then got it all wired in. Came out today to tape up some stuff and get it organized. So I'm pretty happy and I'm going to go ahead and, and review this and, and see how the sound levels come through. And if they come through the way I'm anticipating them, then uh, I'm just going to call it <clears throat> good for the day. Uh, yeah, anyway, off to review.